everyone welcome to another one of my peculiar new experiences in this journey today I'm going to be talking a little about I don't know I've been thinking about what I could say to my future self about this little project and I only have two ideas in my head and well let's try to do it okay first of all this was a drawing part of a contest by fanbook if you don't know what fanbook is it's an application made by SM Entertainment kit company from South Korea where basically all the fans can upload their banners, their webtoons and stuff like that and, and they sometimes make contests to celebrate the comebacks of their groups or their artists. So they made this one for NCT127 for their superhuman release and I was thinking a lot about this one. I usually don't make compositions like this. To be honest, I don't do any concept drawing at all because I don't know, I just felt like I didn't have the skills yet to start doing something like that. But I really wanted to try out uh, doing something different this time. I didn't just want to grab a picture and paint it, I just wanted to create something different. So I put up some elements that I thought will match with Jehan. I grabbed some references, I made a mood board, and I made a pencil my first draft. And it was this concept of him being like a type of cyborg. And I don't know, I thought about Captain America. That's why he has those pants. But at the same time, it was not actually like Captain America. I actually thought about the story behind, which I really, really, really like. About him being a soldier who lost most of his body in war. And now he's given the opportunity to have a second chance through turning himself into a cyber. I don't know, I just thought of something like that. So he doesn't have a left arm and actually it was, I was thinking about putting some holes in the pants to show that he doesn't have exactly all of his limbs when I thought about his story I thought really a really sad story about him I thought about him losing most of his body his lower body and what you see there his feet are not his feet are actually prosthetics and his left arm well he cannot hide that because it's way too obvious but since he didn't want to make people that uncomfortable like you know um, I don't also have lower limbs I thought maybe he asked the person who gave him those robotic body parts that he wanted to have a more realistic fit so he could cover them with his bed and that's why he's not suffering while walking in the desert in a hot pavement because that's he doesn't even have feet till the story I know getting back to the point I was really happy when I when I came up with this I didn't really think I was going to be able to accomplish a composition of this kind my only bad was actually that I didn't plan the background and the interaction with the character I basically just blend the character. Before I started painting it actually, I thought about this background because I thought, you know, it would be cool if he has a background. And I thought about this cartoon from the Looney Tunes where there's a desert. There is this... I don't know what's the name. <laughs> but the point is that I thought of this kind of a scene, like you see the one with the Acme products and the hunting of those animals, the bird and the other one whose name I don't remember. And that's basically what I wanted. But when I started painting actually everything together, I realized that 
the colors I had planned for the character were not actually making much contrast with the background, which was horrible because I had to like improvise and to try what colors could fit better. And I'm not that pleased with the colors because I, I really love the, the original colors I had planned, but I'm definitely, definitely, absolutely proud of myself with this. Even though I made all those mistakes. And also there was a funny part because I was not going to originally paint it like this cartoony style. I was going to paint it like a more digital oil style. But I thought of making a little warm up before. And I was making the video of the spooky illustrations as a warm up and I was coloring them and I always color them like that. And I forgot it when I started coloring him and I just ended up coloring him like that and I was like halfway through when I realized about that and I just didn't want to start all over that's why there are some parts when, when I just turn off the liner layer because I thought maybe it doesn't look that bad well, I just had to accept that fact I just had to go on with that and make it work because I really enjoyed doing all this, the creative process. It was very, very, very amazing for me because it made me realize that even though sometimes I think I don't have the ability to do something, if I try, I can actually accomplish it. I can like just learn by my mistakes and that is my not to my future self this time. You learn from your mistakes, then remember that. And not just keep on moving your crush, but also remember to trust in yourself in the future. So that's all I have to say. I hope it was helpful in some way. And I'll see you next time for the part 2 of this one, because yeah, I made two drawings for this. Bye!